In this video, we're going to cover how to set up normal users and crews to use time tracking with the uh, service program. So the most important part here, first, you've got to set this up in the QuickBooks side. All the settings come from QuickBooks. So you have to set up time tracking in QuickBooks. And this is whether you use the payroll services or not. You need to have time tracking set up for each employee if you want to track the time for them in the service program. So if you're not sure how to do this, please Google how to set up time tracking in QuickBooks desktop or online, whatever you need. Figure that out and then you can continue from here. So the first thing is we have to sync in those employees with the time tracking information. You'll sign into the service program, click the update QuickBooks button. And then from this menu, we're going to select timekeeping and hit the reload button. Once it's complete, you'll then have the information in the service program that we need to set these people up. First thing is, we're going to go to MISC Info, System, User Maintenance. Here you can create a new user. If you want to add a user along the bottom, you can just click in here and type in whatever you want. Give them a password, a security level, and set the time zone, whatever time zone you're in. So once you have them set up, and you have the username here, just double click the name, and it brings you into a whole set of options. Right here along the bottom, these are the three fields that we need, QuickBooks Employee, QuickBooks Payroll Item, and QuickBooks Service Item. So I'm going to select my employee, maybe it's Joe, and then you have to select a payroll item. We need to know if they're salary or hourly. And the last piece is a QuickBooks service item. Uh, I believe I've created one already called time tracking. So you really don't have to add these right here. The system doesn't force you, but you're going to need them in order to push anything in the QuickBooks. These are going to show up by default if you set them here. So I highly recommend you set them up here first. I would add all of this right here. Otherwise, you're going to be doing this over and over every time you get a piece of time tracking. So once this is done, We've got the user now for tasks and things like that. We also want to create them over on the route schedule. So we have to create their username for the route schedule. You can go to MISC Info, System, Subassign Maintenance. This works the same way. You're going to want to add the username exactly as you added it on the user list. So I added Matt with a capital M. Add Matt with a capital M. Make sure you match it. Now I'm using Joe for this test, so I'm going to go ahead and go into Joe. And I'm going to click on Crew Detail. And even if you're only tracking time for that one user, you must go in here, click Crew Detail, and select one employee name from here. So I'm doing Joe. Click Close to save it. And that one's set up. Now set up all your individual users. If you then want to create a crew, Let's say you need to track time for five people on location. What will happen is you'll sign in or, or do this on the mobile device or on the desktop. Um, for example, we'll set it up and call it Crew 1. And once we click out, we can then double click the name here. It brings us into details. And we can go to Crew Detail and select as many people as we need. So maybe we already have Joe set up and maybe I set up Matt and maybe Route 1 driver, R1, is going to show up too. So you must add every employee that you want here. Um, what will happen is if you're using the mobile devices, these three people will now be available to add time for on the route ticket or task when you go to the mobile side, sign in, and hit time tracking to load. So just add the names you want here. Again, make sure these names have already been set up for their own little crew with their name in there. Um, as we showed a minute ago. And then click the close button. So that's it. We have them set up. The last piece, if you are using the mobile devices, you're going to want to click on sync mobile devices. And then you're going to want to select sync core files from the drop down. This pushes up any username changes, anything attached to the users that have been changed. Um, so do a sync. Once that sync is complete, I also recommend that you hit the drop down and do a sync all. Really, you could do a sync of routes, 
individually and hit sync and then route tickets because that'll push up your crew and other information from the route area. But a sync all the first time is just a good way to kind of get everything out of the way, make sure the line items are up there, the customer name, the, you know, all the information that's important. So that's how you set up your individual users and your crews to use time tracking in the system. And check out the other videos on how to add time tracking manually in the desktop or how to do it on the website in the tasks or route tickets. Those will be also in the library.